first Michigan, now Ohio State gets a test against an unranked Big Ten team. What's going on with our Big Ten East powers? Or is Maryland and Illinois just good teams? Great time to subscribe to the channel. Big Ten content every single day. Always mash that like button to spread the word of Big Ten Ted to the masses. Look, Ohio State and Michigan, from an outsider's view, it might say, well, maybe these teams aren't elite. Maybe Michigan and Ohio State shouldn't be two, shouldn't be three in the country. But maybe we should look more at Illinois. And maybe we should look at Maryland and both the Terps and the Illini playing to their strengths and really hitting their strengths hard and really capitalizing on what they do well against these respective teams. And that's where things kind of land with Maryland against Ohio State. I don't think this Buckeye secondary and this Buckeye uh, pass defense has been overly great. I think their defensive line is really good. I think their pass rush is really good. I think Tommy Eichenberg at linebacker is really good and what he's been able to do making tackle after tackle after tackle. But when you get beyond that front seven, when you get back to those guys, that back four, so to speak, for Ohio State... That's when teams like a Maryland can capitalize, teams that can throw the football in the air, and that's exactly what the Terps did. The way Maryland had been playing, I would never have guessed in one million centuries that they would have put up 30 points in this football game. Now, should that be a concern for Ohio State? I think their pass defense, maybe not in the immediate future because Michigan proved, that maybe they aren't the greatest throwing the football. I know they had some guys out in that game, but Ohio State definitely should be able and should have to sure up what they are doing in terms of their pass defense and their pass coverage schemes. Now, Maryland came out and they came out punching. Look, you knew Maryland is in a nothing-to-lose situation, and you knew Maryland was going to come out and come out big in this game. Look, Ohio State, the big thing I'm going to focus on for them is the run game. Coming into the game, no Mayan Williams. Uh, Travion Henderson was back, but was he 100%? I think that's still a question exiting this football game. But boy, did they find a good one. We've seen a little of him earlier this season. Dallin Hayden. This is his really breakout performance. He was able to put the rushing attack on his back, especially in the second half. I think this team had about less than 30 yards rushing in the first half, and I think that's why they found themselves in the situation that they did, only putting up 10 points on the scoreboard. And then you kind of saw when they got the running game going a little bit more in the second half, when Dallin Hayden really started uh, to get into the get past the front seven and get into the secondary and really get tough runs, that's when this Ohio State offense opened up. Just a little bit. I like what the Buckeyes did. I like what the Buckeyes being able to battle back against a team like Maryland. I also like Maryland and what they were able to do. Because, man, Maryland was in a situation when they were down by 14 there that they could have easily laid over and died. Very similar to their game against Michigan earlier on this season. Where, yeah, Michigan got up, double digits, a couple of scores, and they could have been Maryland. They could have easily laid over and died. I think they, like, look at Maryland's performance against Michigan and against Ohio State. Like, they played the powers in the Big Ten East pretty darn well this season. Maybe not so much Penn State, but Michigan and Ohio State, they really played um, really, really good. The defense and the special teams, I think that's something a positive to focus on right now for Ohio State football is that defensive line. JT Tuimaluo um, and a bunch of those other guys on that D-line, those are real dudes up front. I'm really excited to see Ohio State defensive line match up against that Michigan offensive line. I think the front seven is very good. For Ohio State and the special teams, of course, the block punt, that may have been the difference um, in this football game. I wouldn't be overly concerned about the team as a whole for Ohio State. I think one of some things that we learned is that Ohio State needs to be able to run the football. I think we've learned that throughout the season is that when Ohio State can't run the football in bad conditions at Northwestern, they get a close game against the worst team in the conference. When they can't run the football in the first half against Maryland, You have a team like Maryland that's leading at halftime. And then when they get the ball running and when they're able to really 
Kicking into gear with Dallin Hayden in the second half. That's when things really open up as an offense. That's when you get those favorable matchups on the outside with those fantastic Ohio State wide receivers. Now, going into the game, Ohio State. I talked about Michigan before that video. Check it out. Ohio State. I think this is a team. I think this is a very even matchup. I think at the beginning of the season, um, we thought this wasn't as favorable. We thought Ohio State was this team, this vaunted passing attack that was a lot better. And it seems like week after week after week, these two have gotten closer and closer and closer together. I think Ohio State can do some things against Michigan. They need that running game going. They need that running game going just like they got in the second half here against Maryland. I want to know what you guys think. How do you feel about the game? How do you feel about it from an Ohio State point of view? Do you think that they can go head-to-head? Do you think that they can beat the Wolverines in Columbus? Does this game kind of deter you one way or another? Does it change your opinion one way or another? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Big Ten Ted, and we will see you.